Natural Resources, Finite and Renewable Resources by kscience.com We all rely on natural resources. Every single person around the world relies on natural resources. For example, we all rely on resources for materials for homes. When it comes to cars and buses and other forms of transport, we all rely on fuel for transport. Everybody eats food every single day, so we all rely on energy to cook food. Everybody wears clothes, so we all rely on materials for clothes. And finally, we all rely on food. Food is a natural resource. Natural resources are either finite resources or renewable resources. Finite resources can be defined as natural resources which are being used up at a faster rate than they can be replaced. Finite resources normally take millions of years to form. So if we use these finite resources in seconds, minutes or even days, we then have to wait millions of years for them to be replaced. So let's say these black circles represent lots of finite resources and these stick people represent society. So in today's world, we have lots of finite resources. So society is happy as we can make lots of things from these finite resources. But then as time passes and we're now in the future, we have a lot less finite resources. So society is not as happy. We've used the resources quicker than they could be replaced. So there's little left. This is not a sustainable way of living as the needs of future generations cannot be met due to the actions of past generations. Whereas renewable resources are natural resources which can be replaced at the same rate at which they are used up. So in this example, we have lots of renewable resources, so society is happy. Therefore, in today's world, we have lots of renewable resources, so society is happy. And as time passes and we're now in the future, we still have lots of renewable resources. So these future generations are happy as they've replaced the resources at the same rate as they've used them. This is a sustainable way of living as the needs of the current generations can be met whilst the needs of the future generations can also be met. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to compare specific examples of finite resources and renewable resources. An example of a finite resource is limestone. Limestone can be used to make cement and concrete. There's a limited supply of limestone in the world and it takes millions of years to form. So as we use up limestone, it will take millions of years to form limestone again, which is why it is a finite resource. Another finite resource are metal ores. Metal ores take millions of years to form and we use them up very quickly. Fossil fuels is another type of finite resource. There are three types, coal, crude oil and gas. All of these finite resources take millions of years to form and we use them up very quickly. So it's just not possible to replace them at the same rate as we use them. From this crude oil, we can obtain ethene, which is used to make polymers, which we use for many different things in life, such as plastics. And crude oil is also used to make petrochemicals. The combustion of fossil fuels in power stations can also be used to generate electricity, which powers homes and businesses. And finally, crude oil can be separated into its different fractions, where they can be used as fuels, for example, petrol, diesel and kerosene. A renewable resource used all around the world is wood. This wood can be made into wood chips. Wood chips are small pieces of wood and these wood chips can be used in power stations where they're burnt to generate electricity. As long as the wood is replaced at the same rate as the wood chips are burnt, then the wood can be renewable. Other renewable resources include rubber, 
and also ethene from the fermentation of sugarcane. Notice how ethene can either be a finite resource if the ethene comes from the crude oil or a renewable resource if the ethene comes from the fermentation of sugarcane. Another renewable resource is the wool from sheep. This wool is only going to be renewable as long as we let the wool grow back on the sheep at the same rate as we take the wool from the sheep. Finally, silk, linseed oil and cotton are all examples of renewable resources. Now, natural resources are found in many different places on Earth. This diagram represents Earth. This represents the different continents we live on and this represents the oceans of Earth. So natural resources can be found in Earth's oceans. Where I'm colouring this bit in black represents Earth's crust. This dashed line represents Earth's atmosphere and contains the air we breathe every day. These blue little coloured patches represent lakes where resources can also be found. And finally, these blue lines represent rivers. So there are many places natural resources can be found on Earth. So there are over 7.5 billion people in this world who are sharing these resources. So because there are over 7.5 billion people in this world, we must use our resources in a sustainable way. Sustainability is when the needs of society are met now, whilst also not causing danger to future generations being able to meet their needs. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.